My name is Fabiola Reina. I'm the founder and editor-in-chief of She Shreds Magazine, which is the world's first and only print publication dedicated to women guitarists and bassists. I curated this panel with Guitar Center. For the past 40 years, the guitar industry has defined what guitar playing means as something that not everyone relates to. Yeah, being a guitar player can mean anything that you want it to mean. At what point did you begin to gravitate towards the guitar? I went to a Donna's concert with my dad when I was five. Seeing them on a stage, that was like just something I'd never seen, just only women doing it. And was like, oh, that's, I, I need to do that. Like, that's gonna be me. My name is Lydia Knight. Um, my band is called The Regrets. This swinger, it's a 69. They only made like, couple hundred of these. What's crazy about it is that they call it the Frankenstein because it's made from old parts. Like the body, you can see it's super thin. We sort of take this idea of women playing music for granted here in the US because we see it so much now. But if you go to other countries, it's something that literally other people don't ever see. Representation matters, you know? Like I know a lot of girls out there who feel like they can't do what I do, but you know, like they're like me, like, oh, they're Muslim girls, but like, hey, but she plays music. I thought we can't do that, you know? So, <laughs> and um, there's all these like things that sometimes like I'm torn between the two. What I'm excited about this is bringing this whole girl band back home into Malaysia, which I'm gonna do so and show them. I'm so excited. <laughs> Zarai. I'm from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I don't think I would be a singer-songwriter today if I wasn't into playing the guitar. It opened up like a new world for me, like I was writing songs. Okay, let's get into some realness. Yvette, what are your thoughts on permanent change rather than marketing trend? I always see like articles like, best women guitarists. It's oh, like, definitely. what about just like best music <laughs> Yeah. Because at the end of the day, good music is good music. And it, you're, who you are, what you look like, that doesn't matter. Like, close your eyes and just listen. Hi, my name is Yvette Young, and I play in a band called Covet, and I also have my own solo project. I used to just kind of plug into my amp dry, and then just recently, I'd say in the last two or three years, I started playing around more with guitar effects, like a lot of modulated delays and coarse vibratos and all that, and it opened up like a whole new world of possibilities for me. So the compressor kind of helps with evening out like the tapped finger style stuff with like the strummed chords, and I find that I get a lot more clarity with the compressor. The delays and reverbs are all for kind of more textural, atmospheric reasons. For me, writing a song is kind of like creating a painting. It's like having a whole new set of colors to work with. Cecilia, I want to ask you about, about making mistakes. <laughs> you know, about, about that. I feel, I feel like it's one of those things that people are freaked out about. I think like embracing mistakes uh, just make you a better player, better whatever it is. And especially if you're developing your style and, and your voice and in any creative field, there's a safer, there's a little bit more of a safety net with everybody working through their kinks publicly. My name is Cecilia Della Peruti. My project is Gothic Tropic. It's like a indie rock with some uh, pop, and it's like a whole mixture. I actually started playing guitar on a nylon string guitar, classical guitar. 
So that's why I'm kind of stuck finger picking. And something that transformed my sound was just switching to uh, Strat. And that was when I started listening to a lot of uh, West African guitarists. So right now I'm playing my jazz master, American professional, out of a uh, Mustang LT. Simone, let's talk a little bit about what you do. I guess when I'm collaborating with other musicians, other artists, I always try to find what's unique about them. And I try to like mirror it with my guitar. And in terms of um, coming into my own as an artist, I feel like the difference that I found between being like a guitarist and an artist is as an artist, you have to really be comfortable with yourself and comfortable in your skin. <laughs> My name is Francesca Simone and I'm an artist and I'm a guitarist and a singer and a songwriter and a producer. This is Jupiter. She's my favorite guitar. Sorry, other guitars. <laughs> and she's a PRS 305. My old neighbor actually is a beautiful painter. Her name is Nevin Abini and she painted this. When I play this guitar, it just makes me feel like bold in who I am. Okay, I'm just gonna share a story. I was in this room with someone, he was like, well, you know, shredding, doesn't that mean like, wa like wailing? And I was like, well, actually, you know, no. Like to me, shredding is really about emotion and That's evoking what I was emotion. Say. Yeah. Totally. And he was like, well, then I guess that means I've been shredding all my life. And I was like, well, exactly. Yes, you, know, you have. Exactly. Yes. And, you know, you you are you're a shredder. You're a guitar player, just in the same way that I am. And we actually live the exact same guitar culture, but we just yeah. haven't discussed it before, yes. you know. And so those are things that really matter. And and, and I do want to take the, the time to thank Guitar Center for having us and having this conversation here, it's a really important conversation to have and, um, and for letting us be really real up here and listening to us. So um, yeah, thank you so much.